Oh, what do you guys think? Will the world ever be the same? Will the world ever go back to the way it was, I wonder, after this? Oh, well, if you're anything like me, your mind has been constantly racing and you've been anxious about the future. There's just a lot of uncertainty and a lot of questions and a lot of nervousness around our situation right now. So I guess this video is gonna be a little different for me. Um, I have a lot of things going on in my head uh, about my small business that I own. Uh, we have three coffee shop locations with anywhere from 40 to 60 employees at a time, mostly all part-time. And over the past couple years, I've focused a lot on my YouTube channel and my pottery side of things, which is what I've shared with you through uh, over 200 and some videos. But before that, you know, I spent a solid seven or eight years building a coffee shop brand called Mocha Monkey in the Minneapolis Twin Cities area. The COVID-19 coronavirus has been has had quite a disruption in our business, in our day-to-day -day business. Um, something really unthinkable that I never quite thought could ever happen. Uh, Mocha Monkey has been very stable. It's got great community support, um, great employees, great locations. Just, it never seemed fathomable that something like this could come along and disrupt our business so much. Uh, so my thoughts today are gonna be totally random. I didn't prepare anything for this video. I didn't write anything down. I didn't even organize my thoughts at all. So I'm just gonna bleh, just word vomit what I'm thinking at the moment. Um, and maybe this will never get posted, but maybe I'll post it and maybe you will learn something or find this interesting or I don't even know why I'm doing this. But basically we have three locations in our coffee shops, right? Two of them have drive-throughs, which I thank the Lord we have drive-throughs because those have been um, quite normal. Our third location, our original location, is in a hundred-year-old home in downtown Waconia, and it's um, a big meeting spot. So there's lots of tables and chairs, lots of places for people to sit, and we have lost about 80 percent, anywhere between 70 and 80 percent of our daily business. So normally we would do anywhere from. $1,200 to $1,500 a day. Right now we're doing anywhere from two to $300 a day. And we have staff on, we have a full-time manager uh, who we pay a full-time salary. And so for us, this is a big deal. You know, a third of our locations have gone down 80% and it is probably enough to take the entire business um, down with it if we don't make some changes and some innovations, which I'm totally all for, right? Where we started delivering coffee on, like in the local area, we started, how we had coffee sales online. Now I'm having some of the employees there help me with the pottery business. So I'm not saying that, that I, I, I'm not saying that we're like in desperate measure times where things are just like, my whole business is gonna go under. First off, I'm super thankful we have drive-throughs. I'm super thankful for our amazing staff. Um, and I'm thankful that I have the pottery business and the YouTube channel and there's just a lot of things that we can kind of move around and pull from. My worry and my um, thoughts about the current situation are the original location is such a meeting spot. It's such an area that people come and gather. You know, there's groups of 5, 10, 15 of people that come in and that's what that, that location is really built on. And I'm left wondering Will that location ever be the same? Will, after this ends, which maybe it will take a year and a half to end, are people ever gonna gather and like be in big groups and like again? Or after this, this is just seems like such a world changing, behavior changing event that we, we may be in a new world of where people are not gonna be getting together in person as much, where they will communicate more on social media and through devices and through technology. And I worry a little bit. We're, I'm thinking about doing some changes and some upgrades, like doing a remodel at that location. We, we were talking about putting up a walk-up window. And I know that my business and my coffee shops are such a small, small, tiny fraction 
of the waves that the coronavirus have sent across the globe and into so many industries. And that is what really blows my mind, is that the, the drastic changes that the coronavirus has had on my business, on my people, on my community, in more rural Minnesota, which is probably one of the least hit states of the United States, I can't imagine what the business owners are thinking and talking about and the doctors and the nurses. And my brother-in-law is a doctor in New York right now. And every day I think about him and I think about how he's coping with the things that he's, he's doing. He's on the front lines of, he's in the emergency room at a hospital in New York at Bellevue Hospital. So uh, honestly, I, I keep trying to like bring myself to a point or bring myself to like wrap this conversation into like a whatever, but I got nothing. I'm speechless. Like, I think, I don't even know. I don't have like a point. I don't have like a, hey everybody, wash your hands, stay safe, blah, blah, blah. I'd love to say that. I'd love to say like, we're gonna get through this. And I, and I know that we will get through this, but will the world ever be the same? I don't know. So I guess what I would say to you guys today is support your local businesses. And I guess, I guess I'm asking you, leave me, a, leave me a comment in the description. What do you think? It, will the world ever be the same? Or are we living in a, are we living in a post COVID-19 world that will be shaped differently? And maybe that's okay, and maybe that's fine, and we will come out the other end um, better. So anyway, those are my, those are my thoughts today. Um, I talked for eight minutes. Who knows if I'll put this up. It would, maybe a lot of you guys would be like, unsubscribe, yeah, I don't wanna hear John the Potter talk about <laughs> coronavirus. I'm here for the pottery only. So you can leave that comment too if you want. Um, I'll definitely be sticking with the pottery in the future. Uh, but I just felt I felt compelled to kind of just get some thoughts off my chest about what we're what we're dealing with as a small business and uh, and some other things because this is just crazy times that we live in. All right, guys, I'm not even gonna say it. If you feel like subscribing, do it. But if you don't, you know, don't do it. But we'll be back with a much more cheerful and fun video in the future. So we'll see you guys then. I kind of feel like Samoka Monkey. Downtown Welcome Monkey, how can I help you? Hi there, are you guys open for curbside pickup? Yes, we're open from seven to three today for curbside pickup and takeout. Can I please get a medium mocha, a sausage breakfast sandwich, and a zebra smoothie? Yep, we can take credit card over the phone and bring it right out to your car. Yeah, I'll pay over the phone. Let me grab my credit card real quick. Perfect, that sounds good. We will have that ready for you. That is good. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you baristas are as witty as you are good at making drinks. <laughs>